be my... Hi, everybody. It's Pam and... Caden. Caden. And we just wanted to take a couple minutes to talk to you about dining out and Super Bowl because these are two things that can really get in the way of someone's goal. Someone's super sad. She thinks she broke her toe at school tomorrow or today. No, I so I wanted to create or uh, come to you and share some go-to no, tips no, really for staying on track, okay, in those kinds of scenarios. So um, first I'm going to talk a little bit about going out to eat. If you are going out to dinner for uh, business with friends, with your um, loved one for Valentine's Day, whoever knows why, um, but we often go out to dinner, many of us celebrate or meet for drinks or whatever, here are some tips that can help you make the most of that decision and not feel like you need to be deprived and that you shouldn't go out and you can still enjoy yourself. And the reason I'm talking to you about this, hey Nicole, thanks Nicole for giving me the love, um, is because tomorrow evening, my husband and I are meeting friends for dinner and this weekend is Super Bowl. And these are two things that require us to kind of really dig deep with our willpower. So first off, if you're going out to eat and possible, if you could be the person to pick the location, that's going to be the best bet. We are meeting friends and I suggested a specific restaurant near us. It's called Harvest because it has seasonal foods, most of which are low calorie. Careful with that baby girl. Don't touch that. Um, and are all clean um, ingredients, clean recipes, and it's just delicious. And there are desserts and there's a bar and it has everything anybody could want in a restaurant. Please don't move that, like I said. Um, Thank you. Uh, but it also does or it does so in a way that's with minimally processed ingredients. Come here, girlfriend, with um, low fat foods and a lot of fresh seafood, a lot of fresh chicken, a lot of ingredients that I really enjoy. And there's really something for everybody at a restaurant like that. So I made the suggestion that we meet at that location and I know that I can stay on track. So if it's possible for you to pick the location, do so. If that's not possible, or even if you do pick the location, Ooh, you're yeah best plan. Um, I'll talk to you about that in a second. I think it's Dudley. She's looking at her illustrated Harry Potter book. Uh, the second tip works for no matter where or when or what the circumstances is if you're eating out. If you know where you're going ahead of time, check the menu online. I think every single restaurant has its menus available electronically anymore and decide exactly what you're going to order before you go. Do not be persuaded by specials. Do not be persuaded by that menu and do not be persuaded by peer pressure or in the moment, have a decision with what you're going to eat before you go. This way, if you're someone like me who plans their meals or if you're on a program like like um, the portion fix containers require or whatever your diet plan or lifestyle plan or eating plan that you follow is, you can work your day around it. For me, I'm going to make sure that I pick something uh, that's as helpful as possible, but if it's going to not have as much protein as I normally would like in my day, or it's going to be a little heavier in carbs, I am going to adjust the rest of my day accordingly. This way I don't get there and feel like I have to find something healthy. Oh, heck with it, throw in the towel, I'm just going to eat whatever I want. I don't have either of those feelings. I know exactly what I'm going to get, and I've done something throughout the day uh, to prepare me for that because I've been able to stay on track and eat according to what it is that I'm planning for. My last tip is to choose one or the other dessert or drinks if you're really trying to stay on track. Now, you don't have to. You can have your full cheat day and have a drink or have that dessert as well. Um, but I think that picking one or the other is a really great tip. This way, if you have a glass of wine and you want a second glass of wine, you don't have to feel so guilty. Or if you really want dessert, then just sip on water. If you're anybody like me, you know, it's just nice to get away and have adult conversation. I don't necessarily need to have the drink. Um, instead, I'd prefer to have the dessert. But, you know, you might be the opposite. I would suggest choose one. Have fun. Have both if you want to. But if you're really looking to stay on task or on track, do not feel like you have to deprive yourself completely. Just make sure that you choose one and that you're confident in that and you stick to it. Another tip for eating out is to consider the appetizers or small plates menus as your meal option. Um, again, when you're checking that menu ahead of time, that's a way that you can portion yourself. If you are going to be picking something off the main dinner menu, a tip that someone had suggested to me a while back um, is that 
that you actually ask if they could box half of it and only bring you half of the serving. Because you know in a lot of restaurants, unless it's super fancy and the serving portions are like this big, a lot of restaurants these days give you a ton of food. And it would be really nice if you didn't have the temptation of it sitting on your plate. So just ask them to box half of it, take it home and have it for lunch the next day, and just give you half of those portions. Now let's say you're going to a Super Bowl party on Sunday, many of you are. I really suggest that you bring as many clean and healthy yeah. options as possible. There's wonderful websites, uh, wonderful um, you know, bloggers and people on social media that you can follow that have some great tips. Clean Food Crush is one of my favorite. Eat Yourself Skinny is another good one. And they have a lot of recipes that are perfect for bringing to a Super Bowl. One from Clean Food Crush that I really like is the orange almond chicken. You make your own chicken tenders with almonds, with ground almonds and orange zest and the juice of orange around them. And they're delicious. And it's so much healthier than a fried chicken finger that maybe you would have your kids kids eating at a Super Bowl party. Definitely try to bring something healthy and bring that thing that you think is going to be lacking. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of fried foods and plenty of carbs, but maybe you want to be the person who volunteers to bring a lot of veggies or a lot of fruits and make sure you have those options. Don't rely on something. Even if someone says there's going to be plenty of food there, bring yourself something healthy. And make sure on Sunday you fit in your workout before you go. You will feel a lot less guilty if you have a couple of beers, a lot less guilty if you do go into that nacho dip for a second time, if you fit in some fitness. There are some really awesome and quick and effective workouts on Beachbody On Demand that are as short as 15 minutes. Some are even 10 minutes, and you can get a really good burn. In fact, I think Sean T has a few ridiculously hard ones that are five minutes long. So do not feel like you can't fit in your fitness on Sunday. Sunday's typically the rest and recovery day for the program that I'm following, but because it's Super Bowl Sunday and I want to enjoy myself, I'm going to make sure that I don't have my rest and recovery. I'm going to have a full-on workout that day so I can really feel like I've earned a little bit of an extra cheat day. Those are my tips. Enjoying a night out, enjoying Super Bowl. If you have any, I'd love to hear them. Thanks to you ladies who joined me live. And I hope that if you do need more tips, you consider joining my free five-day group. It begins officially on Monday. It is Clean Living Made Easy. I'll be sharing some... Oh, Groundhog's Day, good job. I'll be sharing some new clean recipes that I've curated, some that are of my own, as well as short um, cleaning and organizing tasks to accomplish each day so that your surroundings are clean as well, um, mentally and uh, metaphorically speaking and physically. And I'll also be including short workouts that you can do right on Beachbody On Demand. And there's a free trial, so this is a completely free group, no cost to you. If you're interested, I'd love to have you. Thanks, Nicole, for the comments. I'm going to like them here and I hope you all have a fantastic day share this video with anyone who could use these tips let me know your favorite tip if you have something to add to the list Kaden just dropped her book or if you have um, one of these that you feel like you're definitely going to follow through with I'd love to hear that as well have a happy happy Thursday it's almost Friday